Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you see this. This is Dee with Older INFP Insights. And um got a quandary today. And it is, um, is INFP A or is it ENFP? And I say that because um, I don't know which one I am. And I'm having an identity crisis. And uh, yes, it is all about me. That's the FI talking. <laughs> but seriously, um, I'm asking the group whoever watches this for however long I will say that I am taking a break you know that but I'm going to take a longer break um, and that is because I am totally fatigued and exhausted um, I didn't realize it but um, I enjoy making videos but I didn't realize it until I went back and counted this past month how many videos I had done I usually do three, three to four a month I did twenty that included all kinds of formats. Um, that's way a lot. Um, in addition to everything else I'm doing. And I want to get out and do more things. But the thought has come to my mind for the last few weeks is, um, am I really an INFP? I watch videos. I watch videos on about it, most everything and um, every subject. And um, I watch INFP create, who are creators who are INFPs and those who are not. Um, so uh, it started getting me thinking. I tested um, a few times about a year or so ago, a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago now, as INFP A, and A being the assertive type. And then I got a, something Eric Thor did recently. He's changed his mind since then, but he was saying, uh, went back to try to find that video and I can't because I didn't see all of it but it was something about an INFPA their energy has to come outward they can't t keep it inward and they have energy and the energy has to come outward and that's all I got out of that video uh, I had to do something else I was clicking sometimes I just scroll I have Roku TV and I just go and take the uh, remote and I just go click 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 through real fast um, but I thought I'll come back to it, and I don't know, I couldn't find it last time I looked for it. Um, he has changed his mind about all that, saying there is no INFPT anymore. Um, so you can look that up if you're interested. But I thought, yeah, that sounds like me, because my energy has to come out. I have a lot of energy. Everybody who knows me does know I am social. I am not an introvert. Um, I always thought the only thing different between an introvert and an extrovert was um, that an introvert recharged the batteries alone and an extrovert recharges their batteries around people. That's simplistic, but if you dive deeper, which I've been doing lately, um, listening to other people in their comments, reading today, and just thinking and reflecting, uh, is it INFP A? Is Eric right? Even though he's changed his mind, I think that uh, they're more outgoing, uh, they have to uh, do things and be more active, be more um, involved, I just say involved with a lack of a better word, that's not what I mean, but, um, or, or are they just uh, really, there's no such thing, as he thinks there's no such thing as an INFPT anymore, um, or could it be just maybe an ENFP? Now, why do I, what difference does it all make? <laughs> it, it, it makes a difference to me because my channel is INFP. <laughs> and you got to be authentic. And there's not that much difference. I mean, the INFP and the ENFP have the same four cognitive stacks. I'm trying to learn all about the alphabet soup now. It's just in different orders. And I listened to Heidi Preeb. I ran into her the other day. Not personally. <laughs> I wish I would. I think she's cool. But uh, uh, she was interviewing her INFP friend. And she's an ENFP. And when I looked at the INFP friend, I'm thinking, I don't look or act anything like her. And then when I look at other creators who are INFPs and what they have said and the people who follow them, what their comments are, Lately, I'm thinking, I, I can't relate. I mean, I totally cannot relate. It's no judgment. It's just a difference. And people have told me in my comments and in <laughs> to my comment 
have told me, yeah, I don't see, I don't see the similarities. And when when I when I say, yeah, we're similar, and they say, well, I know there there's no similarity. <laughs> but I'm like, there's a total disconnect here. Um, I do like sports. I do like to get out and do things. I'm finding I am. I know I'm competitive. I'm trying not to be competitive. Um, I'm competing with the. <laughs> I'm competing with the YouTube algorithm un subconsciously. <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. I think that's why I did 20 videos last month. I thought, I'll get it in there one, <laughs> one way or the other. But, um, yeah, it's all in fun. But, um, but, but it's serious for me. I mean, I don't care in life, whatever I am. I'm going to be me, and I'm comfortable being me. Um, but I have been through a lot of stuff. Uh, I've been through everything people are talking about with that are like a third my age. I understand that. I uh, understand the depression. I understand that. But I'm just kind of wondering. Um, like the other day. I mean, like yes, Friday. Um, or was it yesterday? Today is what? Saturday? Yesterday. It was yesterday. I was out and I repotted two plants and I went and picked up my picture. Now here's this right there I'm going to show you. I'm real proud of myself. There's a picture right there of San Francisco Peaks in Flagstone, Arizona. Flag, Flags, Flagstone. Flags, I always say that. Flagstaff, uh, Arizona when I was there. Uh, vortex is nice. It's spiritual. I know a lot of you are atheists. I can't relate to any of that because I am into spirituality, not religion. With spirituality um, into the intuition, all intuitives have have some type of psychic ability. If you tune into it, um, it's not the traditional psychic ability, but uh, we do have it. Um, but anyway, I had it down here, and you all saw it in the videos. I did get it framed. It took me four years to get it framed, but I got it custom framed. Um, I did all kinds of projects. I want to get out. I want to travel. Something interesting to me um, that that's all coming to a head right now, and I think it's a good thing because it means I'm growing. It means I'm not satisfied with the way my life is, and I'm growing, and I want to expand. I want to be bigger and better and be the better version of myself, the best version of myself, and I am getting healthier, and I am growing on all levels um, and this channel has been therapy for me so it makes me want to get out and do things again I will say what um, what reminded me of it um, was an INFJ friend former friend that I realized she didn't think the same way and we had kind of a falling out and the falling out was about neither one of us knew who we kind of were and she's going through an identity crisis she's a whole lot younger than i am but she's going through an identity crisis she doesn't know who she is um she's because of a chronic illness to a uh, condition she's had to reinvent herself i'm having to reinvent myself um so anyway we i think she, being an infj instead of just telling me to kiss off which I wish she would have said. She said something to the effect of, I don't know who I am anymore. We can't relate. Um, I think that was her nice way of telling me to kiss off. <laughs> um, it took a while, but I finally did leave her alone. I've left her alone. Um, but the interesting thing to me, the last thing, one of the last things I said to her was, I don't know what I want to be doing either, but all I want, the two things I knew I wanted to do was number one, I wanted to be able to travel again. And number two, I wanted to be able to socialize again. That does not sound like an INFP from what I'm seeing and reading and on YouTube by creators and the people who write comments. That does not sound INFP-ish at all. I enjoy traveling. I enjoy going local. I don't do the tourist things. I, don't, I like to travel on train. I've been weeks and weeks on a train. I love it. Um, it's, it's a way of getting to know people without commitment. That's <laughs> why I love living in an apartment. I can afford a house. I've had houses. I've had four or five houses in my lifetime. I don't want to be totally alone. Um, you live in an apartment, you are alone, but I got 80 other people here up and down the hallways. And if I want to talk to somebody, I know where they are. Um, so I don't want to be totally, totally alone. Um, 
So I'm just wondering. And um, something that Heidi, when I said I'll get swinging back to Heidi, uh, Heidi Preeb, um, when she was with her INFP friend, she was saying, um, I didn't watch all of it because I got bored with it, but um, in the beginning she was saying the difference between her and her friend with the INFP would think, would not would not act on something until they thought of all the consequences and how they felt about it, and then they acted. Where she would act and do like 12 things and then later reflect on it and do the feeling later. And that's more me. Um, when it comes to money and spending money, like I haven't bought a car. I've been looking for a vehicle like for like five, six years. I'm probably, I've given up on that. I've almost bought one several different times. <laughs> I got the money to buy one. That's not the problem. I'll, I'll <laughs> but I can't make up my mind what, what I want to do. And so, um, except for money, I just jump into things. Um, I think that when I was a child, when I, I would just jump off roof of houses because they were doing it. You know, my mother used to say, if somebody jumped off a bridge, would you do too? Yeah, probably so. Um, I'm the kind of person, one of my favorite lines is, and this is going to be long because it may be the last one for a long time. Uh, one of the lines, uh, my, my favorite lines in life has been, um, well, it sounded like a good idea at the time. <laughs> So I'm more like Heidi in that I get involved in things and then I think, gosh, sh should I? And I say things and I thought, well, should I have said that? Should I have done that? Um, was that a good idea? Was that the best way to handle that? And I find myself having to backtrack and apologize a whole lot in my own way. I'm not going to go say, I'm, well, I'm sorry, but, but I, I'll, I'll come back around and I'll try to make it better. But I will come back around, and um, if I think, oh, that probably wasn't the best way to handle that situation. Um, so, yeah, so that, that that's me. And right now, and I took the test. I've taken like four personality tests today. <laughs> one was the ENFP. One was the ISFP. I'm going to throw that one out right there because I am not an S. No, no, no. Mechanically challenged, I don't see things, no, no. And the other was the INFJ, which threw me totally off. Um, don't think so, but that popped up. But um, I've had like four tests in the past year. They all said INFP uh, A. So, um, and I'm on Truity page right now, but what they say, um, I'm going to laugh about this. <laughs> they, they talk about all of this of uh, how to know if you're an INFP or an ENFP or doesn't matter but the the ones that resonate here and I'm not even holding the camera right right now that I laughed at it was like it says you resonate more with a resourceful screw the system persona you're an ENFP and if you're more an individuality is more important persona then you're an INFP I'm laughing because that reminds me of a comment that I was say, um, I won't say who, but he will know who he said. Um, is somebody commented on one of my walking talks when I, when I was griping? See, I was griping about social media on my last walking talk, and one of the comments in there uh, was about you're the most anti, you're, <laughs> you're the most anti algorithm creator of on YouTube or something like that <laughs> so yeah it's screw the system I got a better idea that works and I'm more of a we are one I'm I'm an individual but I think we are all connected that's why I'm trying to build community try to build community with INFPs <laughs> it's like I will mention her day because she does have a video out it's Ingrid on the radish raven She's like she's been invited to have um, do do some kind of a <laughs> do some kind of a vid videos or something for INFP collaborations. <laughs> so that's the how in the world is that going to happen with INFPs to get them together? Um, I tried an INFP meetup. It didn't work. <laughs> there is a really good one. I will say that there's a really good one in Brooklyn, New York. INFP 
meetup go to meetup.com www.meetup.com search brooklyn new york infp and this group will come up that's a, that, that one works <laughs> but yeah mine hasn't worked and here i am i happen just to think about this uh that i keep talking about i want to build a community for that's safe for infps and i'm thinking well they're all doing their own thing <laughs> And if I'm a community person, this, that, that's not really an INFP thing. So, yeah, I'm more of a screw the system. <laughs> I think about the consequences later. Just uh, it's, And one, one of the sayings I go by, too, is it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. Just go do it and then see what flies. I've got 10 ideas and something ENFPs do a lot. They throw out all their ideas, and uh, they have, and they do act on their ideas, and then see which ones of the ideas that they've started that they really enjoy and passionate about. Um, I got like four or five YouTube channels. <laughs> I'm only active in this one, <laughs> and sort of active on the travel. I can't travel. That's why I'm not doing the travel channel right now. But uh, yeah, I thought, well, yeah, I got tired of that. Got tired of this. So this is getting to be about 20 minutes before I finish it. Um, I know most of you have clicked off a long time ago, but if you're still with me, this is what my quandary is. Um, if you have any ideas, what to do with the channel, how to take it, does it matter to you that I'm not an INFP? Does it matter to me that I'm not an INFP? <laughs> but it does matter to me that I have a channel named INFP, and I can't ch change the channel name after two years. But it, um, that's not going to work. That People won't recognize me. The algorithm is just going to have a headache and just dump me. I'm going to be kicked off. <laughs> but, you know, what do you do? Um, mistyping runs all, all over the place. And Dulles, and I will mention him. I've mentioned a lot of people. He has in one of his earlier videos when I first started that he mentioned some people that he could tell were INFPs, um, creators, just by the way they they present themselves and he mentioned me thank you for doing that um as being an infp um, but am i really an infp do i really j just jump in first and then feel about it later um and i am a screw the system person i'm an individual but i like being in a group i like being in a group like the apartment come idea i don't want people living with me but i want them around me if that makes sense to anybody. But I, I do like being with people. I think that's why I like to do the live streams better than anything on YouTube. Because there are people there with me. I pick up the energy. Um, so anyway, that's that. We're going to get to 18, 19 minutes. So leave your comments below. I do appreciate that. I am going to take a break. Um, it's not just the identity crisis. I am totally burned out. Uh, with a lot of things I want to go places I don't want to stay inside doing videos to be honest I want to go places I want to do things I want to socialize um, I want to be able to travel uh, they're not INFP things I, I want to be able to do other stuff so um, so there's that just want to update that and uh, just give me feedback those of you who do the alphabet soup just tell me what uh, what's going on give me some therapy here <laughs> what's going on and um i hope everybody will stay safe